<clears throat> Something nobody else would say, but I'm going to say it, okay? And, oh yeah, let me show you. Did you see my mouth moving? You know I'm snacking on some dry cranberries. But that incident with Will Smith and Chris Rock, okay? Let me, let me understand this. The buffoonery that goes on within the uh, uh, spectrum of being African American has been manipulated. Anybody and everybody can believe that, okay, Will Smith is defending uh, uh, Mrs. Um, um, what do they call that again? Entanglement. Dig this right here. If I know that my wife has been in an entanglement, I'm not supporting in the first place. However, reconciliation sometimes can be a part of your imagination. It's all about making money in this industry, making sales, and making things look like what it really shouldn't because it's not reality. Will Smith smacking Chris Rock, one black man against another black man. Hmm. Something to think about. One black man next against another black man. First time in the Oscars, right? Oh my goodness. The glamour, the glory, the dresses, the uh, 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 um, uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, soi bouffer, whatever the hell. You know, everything that it was supposed to be. Why at the Oscars, it takes two black men to make it look like the uh, WWE or, 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 or SmackDown. Anything else that you could fathom or come up with, you know, with fights and shit like that, you know, our community, you know, it, it makes us appear to be less than what we already made ourselves appear to be less than. I don't think y'all hear me. Bad enough, you know, young black youth and, and 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 black men are fighting each other. You know, you have these gangsters out there, you know, wanting to be a part of uh, uh, the gang activity. Hey, listen, I'm not condoning hurting anybody, but have you ever heard of a black youth or anybody else who's black, you know, taking down a clan member? Not at all. Because you want to know why? They turn out to be cowards. Because they know that the clan going to come like 300,000 deep. <laughs> this is America. America. KKK. Uh. America. KKK. Uh. Yeah. So they know they're going to have a war in their hands. A war that they're not ready for. Alright? If you think for a second. That our country can't enter some type of war across seas with their ships, the military, the whole nine yards, bomb, bombs, bullets, and anything else that you can imagine to destroy another country, whatever the case may be. <laughs> what, <laughs> how are we going to fight in our own communities? <laughs> America already has the upper hand. However, let me get back to the point, okay? And the point is, the Will Smith, Chris Rock thing, all right? Well, we are 
in a social media environment. And that alone puts shame on our people. Or anybody else. I mean, <laughs> trust me. You got little short people, you know, midgets and stuff like that, that are out there shaking their booties on social media, but, you know, they're Spanish or something like that, or, you know. Whatever the case may be, you know, I'm just trying to balance the scales here. But we really need to look deep within ourselves, in which I feel it's like we're on dire straits. Like, it's too late. It's, it's really too late. You know, it's going to take a, a cataclysmic event to have us in a position where we're like, wow. You know, we, we should unite. We should have been better. We should have, you know, orchestrated some type of coalition to unite us with those who feel a certain way about us. You look at the, what is it, the Ukraine, whoever they're fighting about out there, Russia against the Ukraine, trying to take back some territory and stuff. I mean, like, it sounds like real, some real gang activity to me, except <laughs> their bombs and bullets are bigger than somebody trying to take over uh, 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 East 36th Street on the south side, you know, so that they could push whatever product they have. <laughs> you cats have no idea. Y'all have no idea, you know. We become a bunch of cowards within our uh, selves, in our own environment. Damn. I don't even want to ask what next. What's next? Of course, that's a question that should never be asked. What's next should never be asked. I don't care what anybody says. That was probably a stage event. Of course, what Chris Rock said didn't deserve a smack. No, it didn't. He was mild with his jokes. But something such as the Oscars need a reason to say that this is why we don't do nothing for black men. And to have one icon violate another icon on stage, lips like with that slap. Come on. You guys need to wake up and think about it. Think about what's going on. Think about what's happening in your own environment. Everybody's head is so low and so down, gazing upon the screens of their cellular phones, that we cease to focus on what's flying overhead. I don't think you heard me. If you didn't, you better rewind that. You better rewind that shit. <sighs> It's not really about the Oscars, it's about us. Us as a people, what have we achieved? Calling our women bitches and hoes. Calling um, each other niggas, N-I-G-G-A-Zs. So we achieve. There's only a few people out there that get that money. And those are the puppets. Those are the ones that intentionally were put on the forefront to um, show us something that we truly desire, which are riches. It's like playing a lotto every day. That's what it's like, playing a lotto. 
out of all those millions and billions of people that play? I mean, how fortunate would you be to hit it? Same thing with entertainment, the rappers and stuff like that. If you go on YouTube or any other um, social media platform, you would see yourself. You would see it for yourself that how many of them died? Rappers, people aspiring to be something. You know? It's more than what you guys think it is. So you need to open up your eyes and realize what's really and truly going on around you. Nobody ever died and came back and said, you want to know something? It's peaceful in heaven and there's a party in hell. We don't even know if there is really and truly a heaven or hell. But I tell you what, there's really and truly a you. Who you are, what you can stand for, how you can make a difference. If not, if not in your life, in somebody else's life. We all need to wake up and see things for the way they really are. Not the way we want to see them. And when you do, you're halfway there to your salvation. <laughs> Don't believe the hype. On that note, I'm going to let you guys go. I wish you all peace. I wish you all love. And in this matrix, this quote-unquote reality... I wish you all success. And no matter what it is, even if you were, were born to die for something, make sure it's not stupidity. We all have options. We all have choices. Life is not a game. But nobody knows that until they die. Ain't no coming back from that.